Hi, we're here at the Fast Shot TV studio. I'm Chris. And I'm Iskra. And this week we're looking at the styles and trends associated with the Royal Ascot. We have a host of guest interviews and style tips, so let's not waste any time. And don't you dare click away. Hi, I'm Suzanne here at the Fast Shot TV studios, and this week we're looking at styles and trends from the Royal Ascot. <laughs> For outfit number one, we have the dress and the cardigan, both from Primark, the shoes from Carvella, the accessories and the flowered hairpiece also from Primark. This is a great low budget outfit for Royal Ascot. This has got to be one of the craziest hats I've ever seen. What keeps you motivated to make these hats? What you usually find is if you do have a brief of a lady client, then you work towards her personality, whether it's demure or flamboyant. But, you know, with the show pieces and the catwalk hats, I just think, you know, let the imagination just go crazy. Hi, I'm Liana from Fast Shot TV. We're here today at Royal Ascot to check out this year's latest fashions and trends. So tell us, what are the most dominant trends here at Royal Ascot? Uh, lots of hats, mm -hmm. shoes, outfits, um, gorgeous looking women and handsome looking men. Talk us through your style today, what are you wearing? Well, I'm, I'm wearing a coat dress by Lizzie Nolan and some shoes, which I, I don't know who they're by, uh, and my hat, which I fashioned. <laughs> For outfit number two, we have this gorgeous dress from Beyond Retro, the cardigan, the belt, purse and the hat also from Beyond Retro and we've topped that off with a pair of shoes from Nine West from House of Fraser. Over the years, how do you think hats have developed and changed over the years? Today, in the Royal Enclosure, you have to wear a hat. Yes. But I think hats are really about self-expression. It's not about wearing a little neat hat to go to church anymore. Definitely. Tell us, with um, the British public, what advice would you give them when choosing a hat for Royal Ascot? The thing is, you have to try loads of different hats on. <laughs> hats aren't about just going into a shop quickly and say, oh, that yes, that's me. are the most dominant trends here at Royal Ascot? Everyone seems to be going for lots of colour, which mm -hmm, is yes. nice. The gentlemen, of course, are resplendent in their, tra in their tailoring. And talk us through your style today. Um, a little bit of uh, Vivian Westwood going on. Beautiful. And uh, it's just a little hat from uh, a New York vintage. <laughs> For outfit number three, we have this stunning classic dress from House of Fraser, the shoes also from House of Fraser, the cardigan from Lipsy, and this spectacular hat from Louis Mariette. We all want to know, is there any no-nos, things you should not be wearing at the Ascot? Well, definitely not jeans. You can't wear mini skirts, you can't have um, spaghetti straps, you can't have halter necks, you can't have off the shoulder. Your straps have to be at least an inch wide. What do you think of the fashion here at Ascot today? People are just um, trying to cover up, but good that you see some bright colours here today, so it's a really good thing. And describe your outfit today, what are you wearing? Um, today I had this actually um, dress for me, so I had this creation on the workbench, so I was putting them two together. So that's all from us here at Fast Shot TV Studio. And if you can't wait for your next week's fashion fix, get us on Facebook and Twitter. Join us next week for our extra special Dress Factor episode. Where we pit Britain's up and coming designers against our guest judges. Exciting isn't the word. See you next week.